Is there anything anybody, to be fair to any political party, is there anything mm -hmm. anybody can do to tone down inflation right now? I, I just don't see it. Well, I think it's important to understand the context of where we're at right now. We are on pace to have the job recovery occur five times faster than occurred in the Great Recession. That's remarkable. When I was labor secretary, we were dealing with long-term unemployment issues because we didn't have enough stimulus. And so has there been a trade-off in, in this moment? Yes. If we had gone uh, uh, a little bit less on the American Rescue Plan and uh, other stimulus bills, we might have less inflation, but we would have millions of less jobs. So I think that's important context to understand as we move forward here. Uh, you know, the economists I talk to feel like by the end of this year, uh, we will get a better handle on inflation. But what can we do now? Well, I know here in states, you know, um, our governor, for instance, has the ability uh, to extend hazard pay uh, to certain employees. And he has he actually eliminated that hazard pay at the end of last year. That's the hazard hasn't abated. We still have uh, so many issues here. And so that hazard pay could be useful uh, helping people out. And I think we should really think, again, understand that we have been able to create uh, so many jobs so much faster. Seven million jobs created last year. And is inflation an issue? Obviously it is here. But what we have to make sure we are doing is understanding that we have 4% unemployment. We have, we have, um, yeah, workers well, have we're coming it. off an artificial and low. I mean, the, the, the idea that we've got this huge job boom, Tom, is, is just because we lost all the jobs and travel and leisure. Well, I mean, that, well, but, so we're just but, coming off an artificial low. It wasn't a real no, well, no, job. But, uh, well, I think it's important to look at context. You know, look at, look at the pace of the recovery during the Great Recession and look at the pace of recovery now. Our pace of recovery right now is literally five times faster than the Great Recession because we made these investments. We need to make sure we're, we're, you know, these supply chain issues are very real and the president is working his tail off to address them. What we have to do more of is make sure we're building things here, semiconductor chips, building them here yeah. in America, uh, those things well, like that. Now, we can't do that overnight, but yeah. those are things I think we all agree we have to do. That, uh, well, especially we see supply chain issues in China, the border issues with Canada. Mm -hmm. We're starting to wish we made more stuff here. But, Tom, to your point, that's a long-term issue. And, Dan, I'll take the other side. I mean, the Republicans are going to blame the Democrats because we're a, a society of just blame. We just have to blame everybody for everything mm -hmm. all the time. But I'll give the Democrats a break. I don't know who could do anything about what we are seeing right now across most of this. For example, coffee. It's because of drought in Brazil is coffee prices are up. We're seeing meat issues. Well, because guess what? Not a lot of truckers to take it, so they're passing those prices on. Is there anything that we can do in the short term that is going to help the inflationary environment? Well, well, yes. I mean, I think that, first of all, we need to see that this is a monetary problem. President Biden needs to call acting Chair Powell into the Oval Office and tell him, I have your back. Do whatever it takes to get inflation out. And then we need to focus on what we can do to get prices down and to get workers back in. So let's take prices first. We can get rid of regulations that interfere with the supply of goods and workers. We can get rid of the Trump era taxes, tariffs. There are tariffs on steel, tariffs on lumber. Uh, these drive up prices. We can get rid of those right away. We don't need those anymore. We can approve pipelines exploration, fracking, all those signals will get the price of energy down. Yeah. We can bring back the Keystone XL pipeline. Then when it comes to workers, we can speed visa approvals for uh, guest workers, for people who want to come from abroad, for immigrants uh, who want to be green card holders. We can have more legal immigration. We can roll back mask and vaccine requirements so that more people come into the workforce. And we can say no more build back better. It pays people not to work by raising their taxes, and it pays people not to work at the low end by phasing out uh, entitlements.